larger the minor axis is smaller and we notice that remember when we have a major when we have an ellipse we also have what we like to call our foci right and the foci are going to help us remember that gives us like that definition of a, an ellipse where we can pick any point and the distance between the two foci and the point the sum of them is going to be equal for anything. so what we have is we have this distance right now, remember this distance was C, and this distance to the vertice is A. All right? Now, remember real quick, if I say 5 over 5, that equals what? 1. 1. Okay? So what we're trying to say is, ladies and gentlemen, is it ever possible for the value of C to be exactly equal to the value of A? No. No, right? That's why C over A cannot equal 1. It has to be less than 1, right? It has to be less than 1. But what you can see is, as this keeps on getting closer and closer, you're just going to keep on getting a wider and wider premise. It's going to be skinnier and skinnier, right? You're going to get a closer eccentricity, so it's going to be very skinny. So the closer you get to 1, the more kind of spread out that you're going to have an ellipse. But now let's go back into going through here. Let's get this closer and closer to 0. So ladies and gentlemen, as my eccentricity gets closer and closer, I'm getting closer to zero. But can I ever um, have my value of C be zero? Because if my value, if this equals zero, then am I going to have anything that's even going to exist? No. No, right? So you can't have, if I, if I don't, the only way to get zero is if C equals zero. And if I have C equals zero, then I don't even have an ellipse at all. So my value, my eccentricity cannot be zero, but it can be very, very close. And obviously, the closer and closer it is to zero, the more and more the shape becomes a circle. circle. So that is just a basic definition of eccentricity. All it is, ladies and gentlemen, is the ratio of the distance between your ver vertex and your foci and the vertices. So it's just C over A. Okay? C over A. Pretty, what do we call? With the French.